Today we're taking a look at the 10 craziest watches on Amazon.com. This should be interesting. Hey guys, welcome to Cuckoo for Watches. I'm COE33, Co for short, and guys, we're hanging out in the downstairs game room today. We're not upstairs in the watch closet because we're gonna do a little reaction video. And I'm really looking forward to today because I had my good friend Sid, who is a fellow watch collector, I asked him to scour Amazon.com and pick out 10 watches that he considers to be wacky, crazy, over the top, bizarre, unusual. This was the criteria, so I have no idea what I'm about to see today. So this will be a true reaction. And before we get into the video, why don't we do a wristwatch check, guys? Today I'm wearing my Zalos. This is the Gen 1 Swordfish. It's got the meteorite dial, the bronze case. Really cool piece. It's my only Zalos that I have in the collection. And I hope to get more because I love this one. So I think we should just get right into it. All right, here we are. So this is the Word document that Sid put together for me. He went ahead and put together a list of 10 watches all with all the Amazon links here. Watch Collector Reacts to the Craziest Watches on Amazon, links by Sid's Gaming. And guys, Sid's Gaming, who is a good friend, is also on Twitch. And I want you guys to go over there and follow Sid on Twitch. If you guys like gaming, if you like to watch Twitch videos, I definitely recommend Sid's Gaming. Good guy, good friend. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what he came up with. So I think, let's just click our first link here. Link number one, we got... Uh, let's see what we can decipher just from the link. Waterproof, leisure, fashion, wristwatch. Okay, this ought to be interesting, huh? Okay, control, click. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Good pick, Sid. <laughs> wow, that is ugly, huh? Okay, now, guys, let me just preface this. This is one person's personal opinion. If someone out there has this watch or you like this watch, good for you. I am not someone to tell you what to, to what to wear or enjoy. So just take it with a grain of salt as one person's opinion on watches. And um, guys, this is hideous. <laughs> so what do we got here? Uh, youth, silicon, rubber, women, girls, boys, kids, casual, wristwatch, popular, 50 mil, <laughs> water resistance, waterproof, jelly quartz, unisex, leisure. Wow, they just threw a lot of keywords there <laughs> at us, didn't they? And uh, now this has 436 ratings. So, I mean, people are, are liking this watch. So <laughs> that's impressive. And let's look at uh, what do we got here. So obviously this is a quartz watch. It's got some puzzle pieces. You know, this is like, you know, if you've got a, a kid, I think this would be a good kid's watch, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's huge. How big is that? Let's see. It's got a Seiko movement of two years Seiko battery. That's decent. What does it say dimensions on it? Because it looks massive for a kid's watch. Um, band width is 22 millimeters. Okay. I'm not seeing... Oh, case diameter 40 millimeters. Okay. It's not quite as massive as I thought. I mean, it's, you know, it's a good size watch, but it looks so big there on that person. That's probably a kid's wrist, I'd imagine. It looks just gigantic. Yeah. Um, $18.99. Kids watch. Why not? Oh, there's a video. Let's look at the video, shall we? Oh, yeah. Oh, now there's different sizes. Look at that. This is the 40 mil. There's a 38 millimeter thin version. And then there's a 45 millimeter. I bet that one in the picture is the 45 millimeter, huh? They're all 18. Well, no, two of them are eighteen ninety nine. dollars One's eighteen seventy nine. dollars Free prime shipping. Yeah. Okay, good pick, Sid. That one's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's move on to watch number two. What do we have in store for us here? All right. Oh, look at this. A diesel. Now, I've seen diesel watches before. Diesel Men's Mr. Daddy 2.0 stainless steel chronograph quartz watch. Mr. Daddy. Okay, that's an interesting name, huh? Mr. Daddy. Case size 57 millimeters. This thing is huge. Wow, look at this. Now there is a lot going on here. It's kind of a cool looking dial, really. Um, it's just so big, that's the problem here. Only the Brave. <laughs> Diesel, three bar. Yeah, this watch, is, this is a man's watch right here. <laughs> Jeez, this is so over the top. But um, I actually, I think it's kind of, I like the color, I like the brushed kind of gunmetal, kind of um, two-tone with the, uh, almost bronzed kind of metal finish there. 
and then you've got the gunmetal finish with the brushing and um, you've got the waffle pattern going on there so a nice mix of different finishings and stuff this is kind of an expensive watch for a quartz chronograph uh, normally $350 and they're asking $227 here on Amazon and look they have oh my gosh they have a whole bunch of different ones wow that's weird huh look at that one so yeah how many then this has 4,484 reviews on it so this is a popular watch on Amazon this kind of gives me Invicta vibes just because it's so massive and uh, yeah it's a behemoth Look at that. So what are people saying about this? Of course, we got Diesel's marketing. What is going on here? What is the, look at this picture right here. Don't follow the crowd. Just shove watermelon into some unsuspecting lady's face wearing your Diesel watch. What is happening? Why, and look, this is disgusting. This shoving watermelon in this lady's face and there's watermelon all over his hand. Is this supposed to be like showcasing the watch? Why is there watermelon everywhere? What's this piece of watermelon? Where's this? What is happening here? This is weird. Oh, oh my God. What is this? This is some weird marketing. That's disgusting. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Ice cream. Like, look at this. This is disgusting. How is this displaying your watch? We are strongly characterized by our DNA. What, like shoving ice cream cones in your mouth? Bold, ironic, and never shy. Diesel doesn't follow trends. It creates them. <laughs> oh gosh oh my gosh watch marketing and it, you know this is i've seen a lot of weird watch marketing this is pretty out there guys this is funny this is all this is more funny than the watch the watch is too big and over the top but the marketing on this watch is hilarious i almost want to just see more diesel i bet diesel has like um watch trailers maybe i should do like a reacts to watch commercials or something video at some point because i want to see some diesel commercials 90 percent sure this is a close replica in my humble opinion not authentic uh-oh really bad experience with this item oh look at all these bad reviews stunning watch and overlooked craftsmanship buyer beware not authentic chinese knockoff wow guys so yeah be wary i guess possibly of uh buying this on amazon this is just a train wreck from start to finish Avoid at all costs, and we're moving on, because that is crazy. Okay, what's this one? Think Geek Steampunk Style. I think I know what watch this is, Sid. I've seen this. Yep, I have seen this. I was looking at um, watches on Amazon, thinking of video ideas. This is all, when I was making my first video. I was thinking about picking this watch up and doing a review on this on the channel because i saw this <laughs> and i thought what the hell is this oh my gosh and i actually i have some stuff from think geek in the upstairs game room i have they have these light switches that you you can turn on and off and they look like arcade joysticks and they have little sound effects they're they're pretty cool actually but i came across this and thought this has got to be one of the wackiest watches i have ever seen think geek Steampunk style Tesla analog watch weathered brass look on metal findings plus leather strap. Okay, what do we got here guys? So we have a quartz watch. It's got almost some um, like key style handset there railroad tracks Two sets of railroad tracks and then it's got a looks like a running seconds hand Right here on the left and then you have these um, These tubes these two tubes coming out the top now. Do these light up or something? I don't know and then you have a key. Now I doubt that key is functional, but it might be possibly. And it's on a very thin leather strap here. It's very steampunk. It's got the brass look off and on, it says there. And this is the Tesla watch. Make a statement, it says. Enhance your steampunk aesthetic. So if you're doing some cosplay and uh, you're looking for that steampunk look, <laughs> you know, this is the way to go. But boy, I don't know if this is a statement that I want to be making um, personally, unless I guess I was cosplaying, I could see picking this up. If you, oh look at, oh it's a bun strap and it's got the little key. The key comes out and goes into the strap. That's kind of cool, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely curious if those little tubes light up. Is there a video of this? Steampunk Tesla analog watch with metal findings and leather strap. Enhance your steampunk aesthetic with this Tesla watch. Cool retro style weathered brass design features metal findings and leather strap. 
perfect steampunk accessory to complete your look. Wow. Should I pick this up for the channel? <laughs> Is that just a waste of $100? It might be. I think we need to move on. Sid, I gotta say, good picks. Um, I think these are perfect so far. Okay, moving on. What do we got? All right. So I actually kind of like this watch, to be honest with you. I mean, it is very busy, but I like the colorway. And uh, the, my biggest problem here is the fact that there's not actual turbions here. These aren't real turbions for $89.99. That's just not possible, I don't believe. And it says, uh, what do we got here? Double turbion automatic mechanical men's wristwatch advanced automatic movement imported from Japan. Interesting. No battery required. Double-sided hollow mechanical aesthetics, double flywheel balance structure. So it's throwing a lot of specs at us that don't seem possible to me in this price point. Um, but I am kind of interested by this watch. This seems like a lot of watt, even if those, you know, even if they're not true turbions. Um, this is a pretty cool looking watch for $89.99. I kind of like it. How big is this? We're looking at a case thickness of 14 millimeters. That's acceptable with the 22 millimeters okay these specs are all over the place weight of 120 grams okay 30 millimeter water resistant or 30 meter water resistance excuse me daily life waterproof suitable for swimming and snorkeling no 30 meters is like um splash resistant <laughs> not suitable for scuba diving yeah no shit um yeah this is kind of cool though huh i don't know do you guys like this i think it's kind of neat looking actually I'll have to remember that one. I don't know. I may buy that. What are people saying about this? <laughs> Let's see. Value for money and does a good job as a dress watch. I don't know about that. A good value, sure, but dress watch? I'm a Seiko enthusiast when it comes to automatic watches. I have a good collection of Seiko and um, probably one or two Orient Citizen Automatics. Okay, good. Japanese automatic watches are great value for money. That's true. And the quality you get for the price is so much more compared to pricey Swiss brands. That's true. Well, of course, if you're getting into Rolex or Omega or uh, Jeje Le Coute, you are in a different ballpark. Also true. I had uh, been very happy with my Seikos. They are the Toyotas in the automatic watch industry. A Seiko automatic will last you a few decades with minimum maintenance. Um, blah, blah, blah. So I came across this new brand on Amazon, and it seemed to have nice appearance and style. Always wanted to have a moon phase watch. And this one seemed to fit both the bill and the budget. How is this a moon phase watch? Is this the same watch that they're... Let's see what their photos are. Oh, no, they're, this is a different watch, huh? Oh, this, I hate when Amazon does this. You think you're reading reviews for one item and it's for another. So they're talking about something completely different. But uh, anyways, that's the first watch that I actually thought was kind of cool looking. Um, you know, questionable marketing. Oh, and there's other. Look at the, the weird. Okay, that one's kind of odd, huh? And uh, I bet the moon phase one that he was referring to. Oh, right there. That's probably what he was talking about. Yep, there's the moon phase. I don't like the brand name. That's kind of a bummer. What is it? Juniors? And this happens a lot of these Chinese brands. Um, they have these really cool, like for what you're paying, you get these really intricate dials and pretty decent finishing. And the specs aren't bad for the price. But you get these kind of um, strange brand names that uh, are not very appealing. And I don't know why they come up with like, what is Juniors? I don't even know. But anyways, let's move on, guys. That's a, an interesting watch. That's not too crazy. Okay. Oh, we got a, a forcing. I've seen these before. Oh, wow. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we got like a fully engraved case. $44. Forcing. Is it? Wait. Forcing. Retro watch for men. It's retro, huh? Carved, self-wine, mechanical, interesting, tattoo, tourbillon. I, I love that they just throw all these keywords. It's like, here, this, you know, tourbillon, tattoo, moon phase, whatever you want to hear. We're going to put independent second skeleton automatic big dial wrist watches. Okay. Yeah. Um, yikes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I $44, that's the most impressive thing here. It's actually, I think I like it better in silver. Um, I'm not huge on engraved watches like this, and this engraving does not look very good. Um, so that's certainly not my cup of tea. Uh, but, you know, I mean, look what you're getting for $44. 
Uh, it's amazing that we can manufacture stuff like this and sell it and ship it and all this stuff. I mean, you get it, you know, it's made in China. It's shipped in a boat overseas. It's in an Amazon warehouse. It's shipped to our house. All that for $44. Really remarkable when you think about it. But, yeah, this watch is ugly as shit. I don't like it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that one. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, Invicta is making a list. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, now I've, I've said a thing or two about Invicta watches, and, you know, I've ruffled some feathers already on this channel, and that's okay. That's part of the process. Um, I will say I have a bunch of Invictas. I like Invicta as a brand. I have, what, six Invicta watches? I'm about to, the next video is going to be unboxing a really cool Invicta that I can't wait to share with you guys. But Invicta makes some fugly watches, and this is one of them. Um... There's a lot going on. I've seen these bolts before. I've I've done deep dive um, on the Invicta line several times, um, and uh, so I'm familiar with their different watches. And this bolt line has got to be one of my least favorites. And again, if you love the bolt and you rock the bolt, good for you. I think that's great. Um, I think it's ugly. So it's got this cable that they do, and this is kind of standard in the bolt line. They've got this kind of metal cabling that goes around that I don't like that at all. And then of course this orange silicon strap doesn't do much for me personally, especially with these large bolts that they have all over the place. I mean, it is the bolt quartz Invicta model. So that's why you have these large bolts. It's part, you know, it's supposed to be industrial and kind of manly and like, you know, large and big and in your face. And that's the whole kind of concept behind the bolt watches. And I'm sure this thing is massive. It, yeah, it's 50, mil, uh, it's 50 millimeters. So it's a huge watch. and But I will say this. Invicta gives you a really incredible value for your money. So now they have a lot of watches that I personally like a lot. And you, you, know, you think of the Pro Divers and the 1953s and all this great stuff that they put out. Um, you're getting a lot of watch for the money. And even something like this, which I think is ugly, you're getting a lot of watch for the money. I mean, you're getting a, a well-made watch that's going to last you a long time that has good quality finishing has good specs for the money invicta and invicta has been around uh, it's one of the older watch brands yes they went through a big change in the early 90s with the buyout and it's not the same company that it used to be but there's some amazing vintage invicta watches and there's some great modern invicta watches and uh so the brand has some cachet there when you look at the old you know the invictas of yesteryear and uh, it's a good company. They have some questionable marketing. A lot of their watches I consider to be overstyled and ugly. And uh, yeah, this one is, I would say this is kind of middle of the road for Invicta. There's some Invictas that are even uglier than this. And uh, there's some really good ones. So, uh, you know, this is not my taste, but it's not the most kind of atrocious thing I've ever seen in my life either. Okay, moving on, guys. What do we got? Sid, you're... Knocking it out of the park here with these picks. You're doing real good. I like it. Oh my gosh. What the heck is this? I've never seen this before. The Fanmus Unisex. Elegant. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's it's so elegant. <laughs> yes. You know, when I want to go to a, a wedding or a formal dinner, and I want to pick something that's elegant, I reach for my Fanmus. <laughs> military camo uh digital watch <laughs> oh is that a fan miss on your wrist why yes it is thank you for noticing <laughs> so digital display waterproof outdoor sports silicon strap led wristwatch 1899 and uh yeah you know if you're out and about and you're doing some military ops and you want your purple camo there your little stripe of purple to go on your camouflage and um, it's kind of a cool digital display. I mean, I'm not totally, I like, you know, they're thinking outside the part of the, you know, outside of the box here. And, um, hmm, yikes, jungle, noctilucent. <laughs> what? what is noctilucent? <laughs> Camouflage, army green. Now let's look at this plane. Does the plane have purple in it? No. 
It does not. <laughs> Look at the, the, like the jets, the rays on the jet here. It's like splashing onto the watch. This is quite the marketing too. I like the watch marketing on a lot of these. The graphic design here isn't very good. Um, that could use some improvement. Like this is pretty ugly from a graphic design standpoint. But, um, you know, it's a digital watch. It's $18.99. You know, it has its market. This has got 415 ratings. Um, it almost, that one almost looks like the Elvis, the Hamilton Ventura Elvis. Oh, what do we got here? What the hell? This is their marketing video? They added that into the, like, why did they add that? They couldn't even take it out of the bag. <laughs> you know, we're gonna, this is what we're gonna put on Amazon. We're not even taking it out of the bag for you. Oh my gosh. Funny. Basic price, basic watch. Yeah, well, it sure is, isn't it? Okay, moving on, guys. Okay, how many we got left? We got one, two, three left. Here we go. The Fine Time Men USB Rechargeable Cigarette Lighter Watch. Oh, wow, nice. $17.99. This is cool, huh? <laughs> This is a, a novelty, cool lighter, windproof, flameless, unique designer wristwatch. It is unique and uh, not a fire hazard at all. Totally safe. Uh, you know, it's why get a Jeje Le Coup Reverso when you can get a fine time USB rechargeable cigarette lighter that the dial, you know, just as cool, right? Flips out of the way. Um, yeah, you know what? There you go. We're back to the 1980s, where everyone needs a cigarette lighter on them at all times. That's funny. Yeah, oh gosh, look at this photo. Like, you're trying to sell a watch, and you can't even take a photo that's in focus? I mean, that that's a little disturbing right there. And look at this graphic design. Oh my gosh. This is bad. <laughs> Best gift for you and your lover. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Is that the best gift for you and your lover? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a little sus. Environmentally friendly without gas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Watch cigarette lighters comfortable to wear. An ideal present for your friends. <laughs> the package is good for gift. Please notice the small dials on the watch is for only decoration. They do not work. Oh, the subdials are fake subdials. Uh oh, that's the worst. That's like that watch I reviewed, the cheapest watch at Walmart. The fake subdials. Oh no. Oh boy. 562 ratings. Do people like it? Classy looking. Excellent functioning watch. Keep you lit and keeps great time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Funny. Moving on. All right, what do we have here? The Constellation Watch, huh? Okay. Watch design. Astro 2 Constellation Watch Astronomy Astronomical Night Sky View with Rotating Planisphere Map Complication. Built to last. Precise. Vast functionality. Elegant design suitable for any occasion. After sale service. Okay. So I like a Constellation Watch. I'm not opposed. This isn't the most offensive watch that we've seen today. Um, I'm not sure, like, there is this pattern on the crystal that, why is that there? That's, if those white lines weren't there, this would be entirely non-offensive watch to me. Um, but it's got this, this white, these markings that kind of throw it off. The symmetry is all weird. And, um, yeah, you know, this is just a, it's a, wow, it's expensive, huh? This has got to be a quartz watch, right? Um, precise, three atmospheric water resistance, 42 millimeter, okay. So, you know, it's pretty big, but not too crazy. It is stainless steel. It's got basically no water resistance. That's splash resistant at best. Um, it's just basically a quartz movement. It's really expensive, $155 for a, a no-brand Chinese Constellation watch. I mean, it's wildly overpriced. Let me make sure it's actually quartz. 
yeah, it's quartz. Um, that's, you know, it's not a good, don't buy this watch. It's so expensive. It's way overpriced. Um, but I like a Constellation watch, and the finishing does not look good. Look at that stainless steel. Look how pitted that stainless steel is. I, you know, I don't know if they're all going to be like that, but that looks terrible. I um, mean, they're, like, the finishing on that looks absolutely atrocious. This looks like a horrible, horrible watch. And, um, gave it to the ex who dumped me, says Lisa K. <laughs> ha ha, he liked it. He works for NASA. We broke up. Not sure how it worked, but he did love it when he saw it, ass. <laughs> but how nice of me, right? Ha. Huh. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> okay, moving on. So, that was, oh, last watch, guys. Wow, this went quick, huh? Here we go. Pin time. I've seen these. Fashion men's watch, hollow punk chronograph sports wrist. You know what? These are interesting because it's like a Richard Mille for $30. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like you wear this out and you're like, oh, nice Richard Mille. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> How much did that cost you? 300000 No, $30. <laughs> um, another name that like, why is it called pin time? You couldn't come up with a better name than that. Take me five seconds to come up with a better name than pin time. And, um, but that's what it's called. And is this an automatic watch or a mechanical watch? Uh, let's see. What's it say? This isn't, this is a quartz. What is this? Start. Yeah. Minute hand, decker, subdial, reset, chronograph, date window. And if this is a mechanical watch, and it's thirty dollars. Okay, not totally offensive graphic design here. It's not amazing, but at least it's like competent. You know, they've they've highlighted, they've done their cutout there, and they've highlighted it with the little white border or with kind of a, a opacity to it and a little bit of soft edge. And then they've got decent stock photo here where they photoshopped the watch onto that gentleman's wrist. Um, they're consistent with their font work. So, you know, not horribly offensive. That's bad right there. This pin time, the way they did their logo there is pretty offensive. And the drop shadow on the font isn't great. But what is, um, I, I just want to know what kind of movement we're working with here. Yeah, this is no good either. Let's see. Uh, oh, batteries required. Okay. So this is a quartz watch. That's not surprising. So we got a, a mineral crystal and we got a quartz movement. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of intrigued by some of these uh, Richard Mill style watches on Amazon. I wouldn't pick this one. I There's some that cost like $100 or even maybe a little bit more than that that have uh, decent mechanical movements in it, have better brand names to them. Not that that's super important when you're buying a affordable watch. But, uh, oh, what do we got here? You know, uh, this isn't terribly offensive to me. I don't love it. The star bolts there are kind of over the top. But if you're looking for, like, a $30 watch... I mean, you're getting a lot of, like, just build for $30. I mean, you're getting an intricate dial there. You're, I mean, this is, you know, I mean, it's 30 bucks. I don't think you could probably go too wrong with this. I, I can't say that this is the most of Ooh, yikes, that's pretty ugly, huh? And some of these, oh, yikes. Okay, yeah, some of these are, whoa. Some of these are uglier than, oh, my gosh. Some of these are pretty bad. Yeah, okay. I think this is probably the least offensive one. This one right here. Um, like, uh, yeah, ooh, this one's probably... Is that the worst? Some of these are pretty bad. But it's $30. That one's $28.99. I mean, come on. You're getting a lot of watch. It's got 430 ratings. People probably love it, I imagine, huh? What are they saying? Horrible. It's not even water resistant. Yeah, the fog buildup inside the watch. Oh, that's that's bad. Are there photos of that? Oh, look at that, guys. Nice watch, shit water intrusion. Yeah. Water condensation after washing my hands. Uh-oh. 
That's no good. Oh, broken one. Okay, don't buy this. Not even worth the 30 bucks, huh? Yeah. What a shame. Um, yeah. Avoid. Avoid at all costs. That's what I say. And with that, that is 10 crazy watches on Amazon.com. And boy, that did not disappoint. There was some wild stuff. And you know what? I think sometimes a wacky watch is kind of fun. I'm not opposed to adding a, a weird, unusual novelty watch to the collection sometimes. I've got some in my collection that are a little, you know, a little questionable that I think a lot of people would consider very ugly. And I'm okay with that. And I think you should be as well. Everyone is on this journey and, um, you know, you can't take it too seriously. This hobby that we have, this watch collecting hobby, I think sometimes we have a tendency to get a little, uh, a little too intense about it, a little uh, stiff upper lip about this whole watch collecting thing. And uh, I think that's unfortunate. Life is short. We should have fun with it. And if some of these watches that we just looked at that I said were ugly, uh, they look good to you, I'd say go for it. Why not, right? Guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Sid, for putting that list together. That was a lot of fun reacting to those wild watches on Amazon. And guys, I'm posting new videos every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can count on that. It's like clockwork. Follow me with my watch collecting adventures over on Instagram at Cuckoo for Watches. Links in the description below. I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Guys, I would love to see you over there at COE33. I have a lot of fun over there doing wrist checks and retro gaming, as you can see. I'm kind of into my retro gaming here. <laughs> so it'd be nice to see you over there. And of course, the community Discord, the Dragon's Lair, where you can hang out with me. I'm talking about video games. I'm talking about watches. Talking about Cuckoo for Watches and my other gaming channel and all that kind of fun stuff. Cars and food and pets and uh, you know, whatever. It's Discord. We talk about all kinds of stuff. And if you're enjoying the content, be sure to check out this video that I did unboxing the Orient Sun and Moon watch. It's a recent acquisition that I got on the channel and I'm really loving it. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep your watches wound and your sapphires polished.